Hi lovely people, I'm back on um, the main theme of what I want to deal with in running this course which is creative visualisation. I said in the video about dreams that I've actually had some difficulty loading up so what I'm going to do is do an introduction to creative visualisation and then I'll do the visualisation separately, the introductory one, so that hopefully I can get them loaded up without any trouble. I like creative visualisation in, um, in the courses I teach because they take you inside. Um, they teach you to listen to your inner voice, your inner wisdom, whatever you want to call it. I know that there are a lot of people who feel that whatever they receive from their inner self is from the spirit world in the sense of um, spirit guides talking to them etc etc. If you feel that this is your path that's fine but I do feel myself that when we're born we come in with a lot of inner knowledge, a lot of inner wisdom that resides in our souls and spirits and that we don't need to underestimate the power within ourselves um, because this really is uniting us with our life path and with our own integrity and passion. Um, certainly you can get input from the world of spirit but I do want to ask you to honour and respect what you have within yourself. It's mighty important and it's an enormous source of enlightenment for you as you move through life and as you work with a course like this. Now with creative visualisation it's not the same as meditation. Meditation is listening to the stillness, um, to spirit, to God or whatever has meaning for you. It's actually getting quiet and opening yourself to listen. Whereas creative visualisation is tuning into your inner wisdom and looking for um, images or sounds or feelings um, which come to you as you do the visualization. Now the other thing I wanted to point out um, is that there are different ways of doing creative visualization and that really depends on what's, what of your senses is the strongest. So what we're talking about is for me Personally, I use my eyes. I'm a very visual person. Um, it was fantastic when I did my first creative visualization and I actually realized that I had some shred of creativity with me, within me and could see images very, very clearly. If I'm out in a shopping mall, uh, in, a, in a parking lot, in a shopping center, I can see empty car spaces very, very quickly, that sort of thing. Um, when I do creative visualization, I get very, very clear images. On the other hand, uh, my husband uses his ears far more than me, his sense of sound. So if he's listening to music, he can pick up all the different shades of the singers, um, the instruments, how they interact, how they go up, how they go down. Whereas to me, it's a lovely sound, but you know, I can't, I can't really hear all the different bits and pieces, as I call it. Um, much to my husband's amazement, who you know, who really can tune into the sounds and the music. So the other way that you can also use your senses is simply to sense, to feel. So what, what I'm going to do next is a very simple visualization, um, and see how it goes for you, so that you get some kind of sense of what's right for you. You know, do you use your eyes? Do you listen? Um, do you feel? Um, do you feel emotions more strongly than anything else? So it's a little bit of a tuning in exercise, you might say, uh, that'll take us deeper as we move further into the course. So I'll wind up now, and then I'm just going to do a very simple uh, creative visualization that you can do yourself at home. I've also just reminded you before I close, make sure that you have a workbook, a notebook, and a pen so that you can jot down what you experience uh, because if you try to remember it, sure as eggs you're going to forget it. So I'll duck out now and go on and do the creative visualization. Have fun with it. <laughs> 